if you look at the divorce rate in the United States, it's like 50% anyway, right? So you got a 50-50 shot, even if you get married here. So why wouldn't you at least explore the opportunity of someplace like Ukraine? Why do you think, or do you know, that Ukrainian women join a site like a foreign affair, knowing that they'll probably have to leave the country, knowing that they're going to meet foreign men? What's their motivation, do you think? Motivation of every woman is to meet the men, to meet uh, the life of their uh, love, you know, love of their life. Sorry, okay. I'm really nervous today, guys. Don't be I'm nervous, Anna. Anna. Anna, you've been doing this for years. It's cool. Yes. It's just you and me talking. Okay. So they want to meet the love of their life. Yes. But why can't they do that in the Ukraine? Right now, unfortunately, you know, and it's been already for like 10, 15 years. First of all, the ratios of uh, men to women in Ukraine, there are more men, um, more women more than women. men. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, they um, want to find the men. They want to find support in the life. And maybe because of that, because of the ratios, uh, the guys are more spoiled in Ukraine. So they uh, cheating on women, they cheating on their wives. Um, the guys, they don't respect what we do. Not all the men, Not but, all but, the men, but yes. many, right? Not many, yes. Yeah. Well, and part of that is the culture. It, it lends itself a little bit to maybe having a mistress, maybe having someone else, right? Because I've yes. seen that in Eastern Europe. I mean, we've been doing this for 30 years, and it seems to be pretty prevalent, almost accepted by many of the women that there's a good chance that my husband or boyfriend may have someone else. Yes. It's yeah. almost like happens. It happens, yes, and yeah, I know friends, you know, I have a girlfriend, like, uh, and uh, they always say, uh, if man is cheating, the mother will tell, so what? He's coming back home anyway. And I heard those stories, like, it's from my friends. And I was like, seriously, why? Why are you doing that? We have many other guys all over the world who really wants to have family, who, want, who will appreciate you uh, for what you do, that you're going to be at home, you will make your home cozy, uh, you will do everything for your man, uh, and he will actually appreciate that, not he will just take it for granted, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yeah, I mean, a lot of it is, oh, they just want to escape. They want to escape where they are. They're just going to run over here and leave, all that stuff. I hear that. I've been hearing that for almost 30 years, and it's just ridiculous. And guys, you know, if you look at the divorce rate in the United States, it's like 50% anyway, right? So you got a 50-50 shot, even if you get married here. So why wouldn't you um, at least explore the opportunity of someplace like Ukraine? Or Right now, actually, the more and more Ukrainian ladies registering. We are, yeah. 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 And why do you think that is? Of course, because ladies understood, you know, when uh, you have your regular job, you you go to work, you come back home, um, and everything fine around. Um, it's you know, you understand that maybe you don't need anyone, you know. But when something happens and you actually need someone that you can hide behind the back, you know. Uh, that's uh, different feelings and you start to appreciate men more uh, and uh, that uh, Ukrainian ladies we don't we don't like to be strong independent we like to hide behind the man when something happens you know no yeah, you're pretty strong yeah we're strong but in any case when something happens you know I better hide behind my man <laughs> then I will go and fight by myself yeah, we were talking about that at the seminar. Maybe you can yeah. expand on that a little bit more because we're talking about how Ukrainian women are feminine, how they want the man to be the man yes. and the woman to be the woman, and there's no like gray area. I mean, here in the United States, men are a little confused. It's kind of mixed up. It's like, can we open the door for the woman or not? Can we tell her that she's beautiful or not? Can we do these things? Because a lot of times you get pushback, like, well, I can open my own door. Thank you very much. Or why did you say I'm beautiful? I mean, you know, I have a brain too. So. But in Ukraine, I think the women have a little different look on it. So what do you think? Yeah, in Ukraine, we opened the door when we met on the man and can show that we can do it by ourselves. But in another case, yeah, we're going to wait for him to open the door. And uh, we were raised uh, in the families. You know, we were raised like that. that we're women. We uh, have to have men next to us, strong men next to us. And we're not trying to push that we can do everything by ourselves. Um, that I would never take the screwdriver, even if I will be able to do it. Uh, but ladies more feminine, and um, they we want to stay women. We want to to do our things, to go to 
um, salon, to hairdresser, you know, to, mm -hmm. to do our nails, to talk with girls, to cook at home. And we always want to uh, make the house, we want our men to rush home. We want him to come back home and to say, honey, I miss you so much. And that's probably the main goal of all Ukrainian women. And if you will ask, if you will talk to someone now what, what you want, she will tell you that we want our men to be happy to come back home. So it will start from cooking borscht, you know, from cooking something good for him, uh, from cleaning, the, doing everything and um, it's a wonderful everything thing. Else. Come on. I mean, that's great. You too can experience the romantic adventure of a lifetime. Interested? Learn more at ukraineladies.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, then click on the notice bell and subscribe to our channel.